Hi guys, welcome to Lensa YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I'm your online instructor. So what's new in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to restrict a normal user to run limited set of commands in RHEL 8. So guys, let's start the lab session. So this is my Linux terminal and currently I'm using RHEL 8.0. So first of all, I will show you etc. If I go with OS, OS release, look at that. This is Red Hat Interpass Linux version 8.0. Okay, so we have to follow few steps to create restrict environment for particular user. The first thing to do is make a normal user and assign a password. So I can go with user add command and make a user name test could be anything and assign the password for test user using pass to goody command test and the password is 1212. Okay all authentication to open update successfully let's verify user entry from id command so i go with id and test okay uh, that means test user successfully created okay so we have covered the first step now move to the next step which is make a directory and assign the permission according to the test user so that he can access the command from there okay so i make a directory in slash name linux could be anything and uh, now I change the ownership of slash Linux directory according to the test user. So first of all, I view the current permission, whatever the permission assigned in slash Linux. Uh, this is uh, user owners is root as well as the group owner is also root. Okay. So for change the ownership, I go with John command and um, say test dot test and Linux. Okay. So let's verify one more time permission. Look at that. Now user owner is test as well as group owner is also test. So it seems that user and group owner change into the test user. Now move to the next step, which is, is uh, to copy all the command, whatever we want to allow for test user and uh, paste it in slash Linux directory. So the point is how to find out the complete path or we can say the location of any command in Linux. So for this, we have a separate command. We have a special command in Linux, which is known as which command. So which command, if I go with which, and if I go with the manual page, let's see what says, which command is basically used, show the full path of your shell or commands. Okay, so, uh, so for the demonstration purpose, I allowed only two command for test user, which is uh, one is df command and second one is vm state command so if i go with normal df command this command is used for report the file system disk space use so it shows my uh, root partition slash boot partition and uh, use use space available space and the percentage uses similarly we have another command vm state command so this command is uh, used for report virtual memory static information okay so to find out the full path of df and vm state command i go with the which command and take the help from which so i say which df okay uh, here we can see the full path of df command that is slash usr bin df similarly we can go with vm state vm state and this is slash usr bin vm state okay so now what we have to do we have to just copy the full path of this command and paste in slash linux directory or we can also make a link file so I go cp usr bin df where in linux slash linux okay and just for the demo purpose I make a link file for vm state command so I go with heart link say ln ln for make a link file hard link file usr bin vm state and uh, where in linux in linux and give a link name uh, in my case I go with check chck -E okay so here slash linux check is my link name we can also mention the vm state in place of check uh, this is just a link name could be same or differ no issue okay now we have to run our last and the final step which is modifying the bash rc file for particular user and tell him pick up the command from this new location so for this what i have to do i go and open home test dot bash rc file okay so i open it and first of all i set the line number so that you can easily view which line i'm going to modify it and uh, in line number nine this is the path variable which is defined the uh, complete path so first of all i comment it 
no need this and uh, make our own say path where linux okay save and um, save and quit from there now we have done all the changes and it's time to check does it work or not so um, so how to check i switch with test user and try to run few commands except df and vm state and let's see uh, what happened okay so i switch user for particular use for particular user that is test and now let's see what happened when i run the date command oops command not found it's not working suppose if i go with dir command again i got the message command not found okay let's see with free command same uh, it's not working this user can only run two commands that is df and vm state okay so let's check df df hyphen h h means human readable format yeah it's working and similarly uh, if i go with check remember check that is vm state it's working so this user can only run these two command apart of rest of the all command okay so if you wanna allow few more command just copy the full path of the command and paste in slash linux folder so guys this is a small demonstration on uh, particular user how to restrict a particular user uh, uh, to run limited set of command and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you have missed something that i have missed or you wanted to know more something else please leave your comment and subscribe my youtube channel for the more updates and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest updates thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye